Hey guys! For those of you who have watched my videos on Snapchat, welcome back. And for the ones just joining, hi, I'm glad that you decided to watch my video. Uh, today, we are going to be making coffee with a mocha pot. And I'm actually going to get a chance to explain this a little bit better. Uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to make videos off of Snapchat is so they're a little bit more coherent and I can actually have some time to explain things for you guys. So we are going to start um, with making our water hot before we put it in the chamber. Uh, the reason that you want to do this actually is because you don't want this to get too hot or else um, you can cook the beans, which is not good because it's going to taste burnt and coppery and metallic. So whenever you are filling the bottom chamber with water, you're going to want to make sure that it's below this pressure valve right here. I don't want to put my finger in the pot because that's disgusting. But uh, yeah, you want to make sure that it has the ability to release the excess pressure or else it can explode. Okay, so now that we are done with putting the water in, we are going to put in some beans. So these are already pre-ground. I got them from Fresh Market a couple days ago. Um, I think it's, yeah, cinnamon hazelnut. Um, I've never had this before, so I'm actually really excited to try it. Usually whenever I'm filling up my mocha pot, uh, I just grab a giant spoon to put them in. I don't really have anything else. Uh, I feel like that's the best method, honestly. So whenever you are getting your coffee grinded, um, if you're doing it at home, you're going to want to grind it until it's about table salt consistency. And if you're doing it at the store, then put it on the drip setting. Uh, that's usually the best one because it makes it not coarse, but not fine either. You want it to be thicker than espresso. This is not an espresso machine. I just got it all over the place. Okay, so I've gone ahead and leveled off the coffee. Um, so now we're just going to shut it and whenever you shut it, you're going to want to make sure that this base isn't too hot and if it is, you can just grab a kitchen towel or something like that to shut it. Um, and we're also going to want to make sure that it's not uh, too tight. So we want it like where it's shut but not where you're not going to be able to get it open later. Alright, uh, now we are off to the stove. So whenever I put it on the stove, I usually put mine around medium low. Um, obviously, you can kind of play around with this, whatever you like. I would not recommend going higher than just below medium, though, uh, or else it'll cause the coffee to sputter everywhere, which will make a huge mess and is not going to clean up. Also, whenever I set it on the stove, I like to make sure that my handle is not over the heat source. Otherwise, it's going to get too hot and it's going to be really hard to take off at the end. Okay, so now all we have to do is wait for the coffee to come into the top chamber. So what we're looking for here is a nice honey colored coffee. Whenever it starts to get that color or you see it start to bubble, take it off and go run it under some cold water. All right, so now that we have our coffee, we are just going to make our latte. Um, I think for this one, I'm probably just gonna go with a simple brown sugar and vanilla latte since I think that the coffee beans will have a really good flavor to them. So now that we've made our coffee, we are going to give it a taste. Let's see. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I'm going to give this one a good probably eight and a half out of ten. I think it's really good. However, I do think that the coffee is a little bit stronger than I usually like. 
So next time I make it, I'll probably cut it with a little bit more water uh, before actually pouring it into the latte. Hey guys, so I was sitting here while editing and realized that I forgot to film an outro. So here I am. Um, yeah, if you liked the video, uh, I guess make sure to like and comment. Uh, tell me what else you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!